I don't know what's more impressive. The short-term winning streak I'm on, I've won six of the past eight days after scoring with Gonzaga last night over Pepperdine. The long-term winning streak I'm on, because over the past eight months, eight and a half months in fact, dating back to last July, I am the winningest handicapper at the site. Every single sport, baseball, football, and basketball combined, no one has made you more money. Or the fact that I have not missed a single day handicapping here at the site even though I have had a raging migraine 23 of the past 28 days, including at this very moment trying to do this video report. Because let me tell you something, if I could do this video report in the dark or wearing sunglasses, I would because the lights are absolutely killing me right now as I speak, because that's one of my triggers for migraines. Uh, along with a hundred other things I think right now. I don't know if you're a migraine sufferer, but it ain't fun. For me, getting my migraines under control meaning means I only have two and a half to three on average per week instead of five or six. That's a good week, two or three. And, uh, you know, I go through neurologists like people eat candy, but actually uh, uh, being here in the suburban Philadelphia area, I actually go to Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia. They are one of the few places in this country that they have the headache clinic um, where they specialize just in migraine treatment. And you name the treatment, I've had it over the years. So a couple of years ago, um, unsuccessfully, however, uh, I tried the uh, Botox treatments. That was a thrill when they give you, I think it was 27 needles uh, in your neck and your jaw, all over your skin. And boy, when they give you those needles there, I don't know how those women do it. Because let me tell you something, when they give you those needles right above this section of your forehead and stuff, they hurt, guys. I got to tell you something, they ain't fun. But didn't do a damn thing for my migraines. But have you ever seen Nicole Kidman's face <laughs> and some of these actresses? Um... But I'll tell you what, I had absolutely no lines in my forehead. I could not move this part of my face for about eight, nine weeks. It was like frozen, this part of my face. It was the funniest damn thing in the world. I look and I could not raise my eyebrows. There was not a mark on this part of my head for about eight or nine weeks. It was the funniest damn thing in the world. I don't know how women do that thing. I mean, parts of this part of my face didn't move either. It was strange. Didn't do a damn thing for my migraine. Can't say I looked normal in the mirror at all. Um, yeah, but really very strange not being able to raise your eyebrows like that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we will move forward. Um, so I cashed in with Gonzaga last night. Uh, gave you a free winner on St. Mary's here. And boy, I'll tell you, if you watched that St. Mary's game against San Diego last night, I was right on the money with my analysis. If you got my best bet on Gonzaga, I was right on my money with on the money with my analysis on how Gonzaga was going to be Pepperdine. So, tonight, Gonzaga plays St. Mary's for the West Coast Conference Championship at the Orleans Arena in um, Las Vegas. And that is going to be, yet again, another best bet winner. Now, you got last night's for half price. Tonight's top-rated 15-dime winner, uh, number 84 out of 145. It's Gonzaga and St. Mary's. And it's going to be, once again, the half price play of the day. Uh, just like last Tuesday's on VCO over George Mason. Just like last Monday's on, uh, what was it, uh, Texas Tech over um, Texas. And it's half price play of the day using coupon code HALF. Uh, the other big play today, uh, one of the new guys here at the site, uh, Jay McNeil. 100 dime max bet winner, number three in a row since joining the site. The first one was on Saturday with Texas Tech over Iowa State. The second one was Penn State over Illinois on Sunday. Uh, number three goes tonight. It's the uh, Horizon League Championship game between Wright State and uh, Northern Kentucky. And you get it for over half price off by using the coupon code HORIZON. All the other discounts and promo codes are over on the homepage. Let's get to your complimentary plays. First one is going to be in the NBA. I like San Antonio minus the 4.5. This line has actually dropped from 5.5 to 5, down to 4.5 as I do this video report. At Dallas, the Spurs have won five in a row since the 121-114 home win over Milwaukee on Sunday. I have to be honest with you, though. You know, the Spurs had a little bit of an advantage in that game because the Bucks did not get into their hotels until 4 a.m. San Antonio time for that Sunday game. They jumped out to the big lead, and then San Antonio came roaring back. 
uh, in the second half in that contest. But listen, the fact is, DeMar DeRozan has averaged uh, 20 points, 7 assists, 6.4 rebounds, and shot 52.4% during the Spurs' five-game winning streak. LaMarcus Aldridge has averaged uh, almost 27 points and a little over uh, nine and a half rebounds and shot about 56% during that five-game winning streak. Now, true, four of those five wins have come at home. The lone road win has come at Atlanta. And you may recall in February during the Spurs' annual rodeo road trip, they only went one and seven. But right now, the Spurs are healthy. The Mavericks are not. Uh, they have lost uh, nine of their last ten games. Um I just think it's a good spot and a good price to take San Antonio. Another NBA free selection for you. I like the Denver Nuggets, who have really played lousy here of late. Uh, they lost four of their last five. This game is down to nine at home tonight. Um, they, earlier today, this game was 10, 10 and a half. I'm surprised it's down to nine, to be quite honest with you. But I'm going to go with them against Minnesota. Um, a couple of injury questions here for Minnesota. Carl Anthony Towns, questionable because of a knee sprain. Anthony Wiggins, who Andrew Wiggins, who I think probably will end up playing after both players missed the last game. Wiggins because of a thigh bruise, but I think he'll play tonight. But listen, um, the Nuggets looked bad in their last game against Golden State. But remember, the Warriors were coming off an embarrassing loss in their previous game. And the Warriors then came out on Friday night, uh, scored 20 of the game's first 26 points, uh, won with ease 122 to 105 at home against Denver. It was just a bad spot for the Nuggets to be in. But at the same time, their starters played miserably. And after the game, uh, Nuggets head coach Michael Malone called them out uh, while praising the second unit. Um, the Nuggets have won both games by a total of only three points, but both games were in Minnesota in the season series. Now, a little bit of revenge and a little history to talk about here as well. Last year, final day of the season, Denver hosting Minnesota. All Denver had to do was win to get into the playoffs. What happens? The T-Wolves win out right in Denver, and the Nuggets don't get into the postseason. I'm sure they didn't forget this. Um, I like Denver here tonight, even though they're laying the big number. Uh, Denver is by far the healthier team, and this is a team that, has played exceptionally well at home despite this recent tailspin right now. This is a, Den uh, a Minnesota team that has lost five straight and nine of its last ten games on the road. And in its five consecutive road losses uh, against Milwaukee, Atlanta, Indiana, Washington, and Detroit, the T-Wolves haven't played any defense. They've given up 131.8 points a game in that stretch. And listen, Minnesota doesn't have anything to play for. They're 10th in the Western Conference standings, right? They're six games back in the loss column from number eight, Utah. And they'd have to leapfrog Sacramento in ninth place even to get close to eighth place, Utah. They've got a couple of key players injured. I just question their motivation here at this point of the season. So that's why I'm more than willing to lay the points with Denver in this contest. One more thing to talk about in the NBA. You know, one of my favorite handicapping strategies in the NBA is you go against a team playing the second game of back-to-backs. That would be the Clippers tonight. Clippers coming off the huge win last night against Boston, right? They're on a red-hot roll tonight, playing again, hosting Portland. But this is one of those situations I'd say stay away. Clippers showing great depth, getting great bench production, led by Lou Williams. Playing so well. And in this situation, when I always look at that second of back-to-backs, I like when the second leg, that team is playing on the road. And when they are playing the second of back-to-backs and those games are both on the road, that's like a double whammy. Well, here you've got the second of back-to-backs and both games have been at home. So that's why I'm a little hesitant to even look at that game because the Clippers played last night at home. They're playing at home again. Portland coming in here. Portland's not exactly playing great ball right now, right? I mean, they had been playing great ball. They cooled off a little bit. So I just think this is a spot that you stay away from the Clippers, even though this is a, a great situational handicapping spot 
You've got a Clippers team that's won five straight, eight out of ten. You've got a Clippers team that's two games behind Portland in the battle for fifth place in the Western Conference standings. And you've got a Portland team that's coming in with Rodney Hood and Evan Turner, both questionable. That's two key bench pieces for the Trailblazers. Mm. To me, that is just a stay-away situation. So again, I like San Antonio and Denver as your complimentary plays. That'll do it, and I'll hopefully talk to you again tomorrow. Good luck, everybody.